Recently, mm-hmm. some of the customers told me that other companies also uh-huh. have these smart grill locks like the Avon, and the price is more over. Hmm. I want to find out the answer, so I bought one from the online. After I use it and test it for one week, finally, I can tell you what is the differences between them. Before we start, I'm sincerely to thanks all the customers who always support us. They not only leave the good reviews on the Google, Facebook, you see, they also post at the Instagram. They even recommend their friends' neighbor to me. I love you all so much. Able already five years in the Malaysian market, we are the first smart lock that using the standard steel. Because we believe the standard steel is more safer, more reliable, and more durable compared to other materials. And we are the first customer smart steel lock in the Malaysian market. Okay, now we start the comparison. I want to make you all more understand. First, when I saw this smart steel lock, oh my god. The outlet is almost look alike, like the Avon. At the front, also have the fingerprint sensor, card reader, keypad. But when you turn the back side, ah, uh, uh, here got different already. Just have the fingerprint sensor. There's no card reader, the keypad. Imagine, ah, uh, if you are the user that using the card or the password to open the door, how do you get out from inside? There's no logic, right? Plus all, I have faced some difficulty to open mm. the door from inside. Because the sensor is at the bottom, it's not so convenient. And one more thing, there is no indication or voice prompt to tell me that I have successfully opened the door now. It's not like the Abram. When I put the fingerprints on the sensor, it promised successful to open the door. Secondly, I find out I cannot direct do the setting on the smart lock like Abram. Okay, this one fine. But the biggest problem, Every user, I have to do register for trust. You know what? Because the front panel and the back panel is not synchronized. Huh, it seems like the product is not complete yet. For Abram, both front and the back panel is synchronized. We just have to register on one side will do. Another side is automatic can use already. Nice, right? For the glue door lock, the important is the lock can be waterproof. Because uh, most of the glue door is installed at outdoor. To show you this, I try to disassemble the door lock to let you see what inside of this booth. So here is a Bluetooth door lock. You can see the main dot just screw on the panel without any cover. For the Abram one, this black box actually is a main board already and have the waterproof protected. So now, let's test the waterproof features. I dip this module inside the water, I take out Okay, and then now I unlock with the fingerprint, no problem. Unlock with the password, yeah, it still can function well. If you plan install at outdoor gate, also no problem. The other difference is the Bluetooth smart lock is operated by four pieces AAA batteries. After finished use, you need to do the replace lock. But for the Abram, it's different. We're using this type rechargeable battery. Rechargeable means the lock can be last longer and very easy to use. You just take out the adapter and just recharge like your phone. The best is you no need always to go out to buy the battery, right? For the remote unlock part, right, the Bluetooth door lock has some limitation because you only can unlock from the apps while you're near to the door. If you want to remote unlock from everywhere, you need to add this smart gateway first. For the Abram, it's already Wi-Fi version. You also can use the phone remotely unlocked from anywhere, anytime. By the way, you still can receive the real-time notification. On the apps, you also can check back the door open records, battery status, and link to your smart home. Great! Now, if you ask for the price, right? The Bluetooth dollar share is cheaper than the Abram. But I think cannot do the compare like this. Because one is an Apple, another is an Orange. How to do the compare? If going to do the compare, right? Okay, you see this table. Just now we mentioned that Abram is a double fingerprint module and the booster door lock is a single fingerprint main board. You want to change it to the double fingerprint, you have to add 350. Abram is a using the rechargeable battery and the booster smart lock is a triple A's battery. You want to change it to the rechargeable, you have to add 89.9. Abram is already Wi-Fi function. You want to change the Bluetooth dollar into the Wi-Fi, you have to add a Smart Hub 180. Even come with the 3 years warranty and the Bluetooth dollar just a 1 year warranty and that one is only warranty on the hardware. 
we make it lump sum is a three hundred fifty. The other function like the waterproof function, the simple user experience, ah, that one I don't know how to count it. Ah, I hope you my video is useful for you. If you want to know more, you just inbox me.